today's Thursday the 13th. That means I'm going to the New York Times print plant today. So this is the most like legendary print plant of all time. The coolest I've ever seen. I've seen like one or two maybe, but this is like, beats it all. So I'm gonna give you a quick history of the New York Times and like the moves they've made and... So the New York Times opened in 1851. That's so old. So when the press first opened up, it was on 113 Nassau Street in New York City. And then three years later, in 1854, it moved to 138 Nassau Street. And then in 1858, it moved to 41 Park Row. And then after all that mumbo jumbo, it moved to Time, well now Times Square. It's called Times Square because we were there. And then in 1904, it moved to 1475 Broadway. And that's where the, uh, that's where the ball drops. It was Times Tower. So whenever you see the ball drop in New Year's, New Year's Eve, that's where we were. So after nine whole years in Times Square Tower, they moved to 229 West 40, 43rd Street. That was the, the main printing press until 1997, which in that year, they moved to College Point, Queens, which is where this awesome printing plant is. So now, after all that mumbo jumbo, we are now at 8th Ave in this really, really tall building that's awesome. So here's a little bit how it works. The journalists send the news or the articles or whatever to College Point, Queens, where the printing press is. From there, they have, they put it all like in the system, whatever, and they make all of the images, the prints, the copy, and they burn it with lasers into these aluminum plates, which are wrapped onto these big cylinders. And you're gonna see this in a minute, but they wrap it onto these big cylinders, which the paper flies through really, really fast and just like spits out the, uh, the prints. So from there, after all the printing is done, you know, there's guys like, the quality assurance guys who make sure everything's printing well, all the colors are coming right, all, all the registration is right. And after they're off the press, they actually travel for a sum around 14 miles on curve conveyor belts. Just think about how long that is. And then picture how big this plant is. It's huge, it's huge. Also, side note, check out this view. Like, what? I think it's hilarious that in New York, we have such beautiful parks, right? Awesome, beautiful pond with swans, ducks, etc. And then just bag. Big black bag in the tree. Sick. But also, like, I'm so stoked that spring has sprung. Like, like, look at this. Like, don't hate. Don't hunt me because I'm excited. I'm super excited it springs here. Haters gonna hate. And then they're bundled, stacked, and loaded to be shipped out to all the distributors and readers. Sick. And also, I'll have you know that because global warming is 100% real, they recycle 100%. But more importantly, I just found this sick garden in Central Park. So, but the garden might have to wait because I think it might rain, so... I'm gonna go home. Bye, garden. Hey, John! Pro tip, 
If you're riding a fixed gear and you vlog at the same time, drive with your left hand. Also, second pro tip, if you paint your roof with a white reflective paint like the print plant does, you might save around 20% on your electric bill. Focus, focus, okay. So, before I show you the, the print plant itself, I just wanna tell you the, ima the immense amount of like manpower that actually goes into this, even though a lot of it's automated. We have the paper handlers. The plate makers, the pressmen, the mechanics, machinists, electricians, building engineers, mailers, deliverers, control room staff, QA team, and this is the second toe and five fingers. That's the vendors. And all of that is for the main mission of the New York Times and the print plant, which is to enhance society by delivering quality news and information. So I hope you like this tour, the snippets I got from it. Um, if you like it, like the video, leave comments below if you have any suggestions on anything, or if you liked it or you just want to hit me up. Um, Oh yeah, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and there's like a little bell next to it. If you click that, you'll get notifications that I post the video and you'll be able to watch it. So, enjoy the tour. Whoop -pow!